All right, so we got another EZA, a Universe 6 Sub EZA, STR Frost. Now, I'm told STR Frost is better than I was giving him credit for. We'll see today if people are capping or if people are like, you know, for real about that. I, I couldn't tell you yet because I haven't obviously used them, but we'll see if this unit is able to cook a little bit. Um, he is, of course, max level 10 links. And let's just go ahead and break him down real quick. So STR Frost, his super attack effect now greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage and lowers attack, um, which is a pretty good super attack effect, I would say. So, he gets key 3 and then an additional that has a high chance to become a super. And also a high chance to crit for the first 6 turns from start of turn. He gets 160% attack and defense at the start of turn. Then, when he performs a super attack, he gets 180% attack, 120% defense, and then a high chance to stun the enemy. Um, that's all when performing a super attack. So he does have multiplicative buffs with him. Um, I Again, to me, he looks like an okay, easy A right at best, right? We'll see if he's able to do well here. I mean, we're going to have him with like Frost support. He's going to have all of his links active. Um, Here's my build for this guy. 13 additional 18 crit. That's like something that I had a long time ago, actually, and just giving me equips to suit that. Because he's intended to be an offense unit, you know. But I'm not sure because sub ECs are kind of funny. He does have 17.6k attack, though. I think that's a pretty solid attack stat for a banner unit. I think that is pretty good. So, I mean, we'll see here. Um, he has all these links active. He does, again, lose quite a bit of power, though, when you take him away from Tech Frost. So, I think what we'll do... Mm, I'll keep him with Tech Frost for now. But then next turn, what I'll do is I'm going to actually push um tech frost off and we'll get i guess champa on rotation we'll still get support but i want to see his numbers without tech frost too because um you're not always going to have this unit with tech frost on rotation like in the very first turn or you know we're not even really going to have him as a rotation probably i mean yeah i mean i I'll rotation because he's like say let's say this is bodum i get it and then this is frost and you have this guy floating maybe but i don't know tech frost sucks so i mean yeah so Starting off at 195k defense here. So let's go under the presumption that, you know, I guess even with just the, what, 120% he gets on super attack, he goes up to 420k defense. Then he gets another 50% attack and defense on a super attack effect for each one he does. And he could potentially do up to three. So how hard does this guy hit right here? Let's see. He's doing a 12 million attack stat, and he could do three of those, and he has a 50% crit chance. I mean, okay, there's a 13 mil right there. So let's say he does two super attacks on this turn. He's over 850k defense, and if he did a third super attack, he would actually be over uh, 1 million defense, which, you know, is a pretty solid number for a sub -EZ. I would definitely give him that. But, um... Like, I, I I think he looks fine there, actually. I, I For a sub, you say it definitely will take that type of performance. Um, we'll go ahead and put kill for sure. We'll just let Cooler grab that, and then Champa could just do this. Um, but that's with Frost. Again, Frost gives this guy so much from Lynx, it's actually kind of crazy. Um, we should live through this. Yeah, Champa dodge. Look at that Champa. Truly a goat. Um... Again, Universe Most of 11 is 20% attack. Metamorphosis is 10%. Brutal Beatdown is 15%. So just from those three alone, he's getting 45... No, that's um 40% attack. Then Tournament of Power, Warriors of Universe 6, that gives another 13%. Then another 20%. So that is, what, 73% attack? If I'm doing the math correctly... Uh, that's a lot uh, that he gets from Frost right there. And, you know, if we take away, like, Brutal Beatdown, Metamorphosis, Universal Most Malevolent, he does lose 40% of that, which, again, is something you're not always going to see, so it's going to be good to see. So, I get none of Champa's attack proc'd right there. So, he's doing under 100k damage. <laughs> that is kind of funny. Okay. Um, so, yeah, again, we, mm, I want to float Frost off, but I hope Kale doesn't kill. 
Um, I mean, I could do this. But okay, I'm going to assume that Kale doesn't kill because you know Kale's going to be really nice to me, right? Kale, come on, you're going to be you're going to be great, and you're not going to get any additional supers, right, Kale? I mean, she's not getting a lot of. Well, uh, Kale might kill her. Dang it, maybe I should have. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We saw what he looks like with frost anyway, so it's not the biggest deal. As long as Kill doesn't get any crits, he might not kill. Well, unless she does four super attacks, then she could very easily kill here. But uh yeah, it is what it is. Kale, why'd you do that? Okay, well, there's there's Kale right there. Kale could look pretty good. Berserk Kale for sure. So next turn we'll have Champa and we won't have the Frost. Um I mean, he's good, I think, for a sub -easy. I think he's fine. Well, I, maybe good is a little bit much. Because, like, we have, like, if we're, if we're looking at other sub -EZAs, right, we have units like the, how to explain, the future Gohan, I think, would be better than this guy. Because, you know, he's supporting and dodging. I would say the uh, STR Trunks and the Inzamas, we're, like, pretty much just straight up better than this unit, too. Right, even the um, the Angel Trunks and I definitely by far better than that unit. They're all like kind of sub EZAs. They have their own extreme Z area, but they pretty much count as sub EZAs. And even Boda Magetta, I think, is clear of this unit. Champa supporting. Like, this unit is just really straight up stats. And while it's helpful for a team like Universe 6 to get extra options, and for a basing them compared to other sub EZAs, I'm not really like seeing where this guy is like making me go yeah he's cooking cooking right i mean he could he could do he could, he could do for you like 12 into 13 mil into like 15 mil and then he's like at a million defense and like for sub -Z, i'm like that's all it right but like you do need the rng to line up for you you need tech frost with them who sucks right and most of the time you probably just won't have tech frost next to him hopefully i don't get super with cooler uh that's fine okay we good we cooked we cooked um so I guess I'll probably, I'll put this champ on the front, that's fine. We'll do that, we'll grab this here, then we'll let Kale grab that, okay. And that's really the issue with Frost, he's like, able to look, like right here, he's not going to hit like above 10 mil I think, because he's missing so much extra attack that he could potentially hit be getting with frost like choppa is a unit that i would say is like a good unit. like this the, a rotation like this let's say we had kill in first thought is a more realistic rotation there 6.7 mil i mean still doing 6.7 mil you could do three of them it's like fine right you know but like considering that this is what this guy's main like thing is supposed to be damage really i feel like it's solid Right, you know, I, I wouldn't say it's bad, but I would say it's just like solid so far from what we're seeing. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab that. We'll get this. And again, we still have a couple of turns we can get with this guy. So let's see more. I just wish he had some sort of like utility. Ooh, I like, because like compared to for sub EZAs, you kind of don't want damage to be their main points, really. And... It's like, you know, Champa, I can see myself really choosing to use him because he has the support. Boda Magetta, you know, he's a guarding unit, right? That ages pretty well. Um, like, the kind of kit Magetta, Boda Magetta has will age well. You know, even like Universe 16, considering that team isn't really going to get many buffs, right? I can see this unit still being good in like a few years even. Or at least a solid option. Maybe like a year or two, you'll still be solid. Frost is a cap his archetype as a sub EZ is going to be very easy to get power crept like let's say we get an lr hit on this team and then like he's like a mega damage dealer and you can run like two of the hits it's like frost is going to be the first guy you kick off the team you know compared to, to like actual good units if we do get this kind of like de like because hit is going to obviously be able to fill a role of like a offensive unit as an lr or something like that for the most part i would assume so Right, you know, a, a brand new LR would likely be strong offensively, but I guess you can you can't really say for sure, right? Oh wow, we almost died here. Oh, that was kind of close there, but I think you guys kind of get the point where I'm trying to say, um, in terms of Universe Six. But if we're talking about right now, I'll take it. Okay, so we can go ahead and get a little bit of healing. So now at this point, Frost, I believe, has lost his passive. 
Um, he's at 200k defense here because he's getting all this extra support. I mean, oh yeah, you know, Champa doesn't have Tournament of Power or Warriors of Universe 6, so. We'll just put Frost right in the front. Um, hopefully we, we don't get instantly super attacked and die. I mean, if that happens, that's not on Frost's fault because he's type disadvantage and he gets all of his stats on super. Oh, okay, well. Oh, three dodged. Ha ha ha. That saved the showcase. 14 million. I mean, in a mega juice up scenario. <laughs> sure, I'll take the 14 million, sir. And then, yeah, his full passive is out, so you can't get the additionals. Um, yeah, sure. He's fine. And this is like with mega support on this turn. Mm, yeah, I, I, I just, it's just not. Uh, it's just not my type of like unit like that and like if we're thinking about him in like the hardest stages he will need rng on his side to get you know the super attacks off obviously with the 50 percent chance and then the hidden potential system and if he gets one off again he's around 600k defense with support without support he's probably around closer to like 500k which, you know, even 500k defense now, some of these units, you know, like some of these bosses, you cannot even tank normals. So, that's the thing. Well, it's like Champa might be potentially better. And then, like, with Champa, you would want to go dodge. Well, this unit is like an offensive unit. It's, just, it's weird. Um, but let me know what you guys are thinking about this Frost. Uh, I'm kind of conflicted. He's not bad. Like, mediocre is actually a pretty good word for this guy. Like, if you actually, like, because uh, the word mediocre has been taken by people and it's like construed to mean bad. But obviously mediocre just means that you're average, really just average. And this is like, this guy is an average sub easy. -A. Nothing really special about him. He doesn't really stand out, which is why it's like kind of why I'm like kind of meh, <laughs> right? You guys got to get the point there. Let's see. Let's give him a sticker at least. I think his sticker could potentially look pretty nice because he has a little aura with him. Uh, let's see. Well, how's his sticker looking? I, I like putting these stickers at the end of the video. I mean, that's a fine sticker. I like it. That he's got that going for him. <laughs> uh, but we'll catch you all. Guys. I can't speak. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.